2018 has been my first year riding uh, the Explorer X5 Evo. And, uh, you know, I'm a racer, but as well a rider. So I found myself traveling around the globe, you know, being in different countries. And for me, having such a device means uh, I can do my training every day, you know, uh, see what I've done and uh, sharing with my coach. But as well, I have maps all over the world. So uh, if I want to find a new trail, if I want to have uh, a nice road loop or something, I can find it on, on the maps. And on top, I have a camera. So I think this is a really cool feature because um, I can find a trail, ride the trail, recording what I'm riding and share it with my friends. You know, now social media has become so big and I think it's cool to follow such a rider as, as myself and look at what I've done, you know, in terms of training, but also in terms of trails, you know. So it's really simple to use. You just push the recording button, you record a trail, you stop it, and uh, you can add on your, on your phone, on your uh, device. So I think uh, it's a really cool feature and uh, mixing all these three things with, uh, with the look, which I think it's really uh, nice and, and, and cute. Uh, I found it uh, what I really uh, want and really like when I ride my bike. You have a couple of apps, one is for trainings and one is for video, but as well you can connect it with your, uh, with your computer, with your big device, just to check what you've done, check your training, you know, you have a bigger screen, so you can actually look in a, in a little different way. Uh, all the, the, the things you recorded, you know, especially in terms of training, power, speed, cadence, and heart rate, and, uh, you know, as well as your coach, you know, you're gonna send your, your training with your, with, uh, to your coach, he's gonna look at, you know, and uh, I mean, what I, what I do is just uh, uh, have a connection between myself and my trainer, kind of every day so it's really important and crucial to send all your data you know he's gonna have a look at and uh, you know afterwards you can plan your your route your training and what you want to do in, in terms of um, you know activities towards uh, the week towards the weekend and uh, be at your best at the competition uh, to me the recording point is um, really a cool feature when uh, I get to ride my bike, you know, so uh, training for sure is important as it, and is uh, crucial in terms of performance, but you know, we get to ride all over the world and uh, you know, you're on a nice place, maybe sea view or mountain view, you find this place which can be a trail, which can be maybe just a really nice road and you just ride it, you know, and all of a sudden you think like, okay, I want to record this, you know, I want to see what I'm riding, you know, in terms of, you know, picture and you can add on top uh, heart rate, power, cadence, a lot of different things in the video. So you just push a button, you know, it's a, it's a very simple button, you know, the recording button. You push, you record and then you stop. It. Uh, as well, you know, you can uh, also program when you want to record something. So you want to have, I don't know, once you reach 170, 180 heartbeat, you know, it starts recording by itself. So a few features that really makes it um, a cool device, simple to use and, uh, and very nice. I mean, uh, you have the application on, on your mobile phone and uh, it's pretty simple. You, you connect the, the two devices uh, you download the, the videos and you can share it with your friends, you can share it with your social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, whatever. So it's simple, it's really up to you. Uh, but I found it uh, a funny thing to do and uh, a nice way to end the training and, and share it with your friends. Uh, as a racer, you get to travel a lot uh, around the world and uh, for sure, the special one you always remember are the one where you, you know, you found yourself uh, on top of the podium, you know, or, or the big podium, you know, like, like London, London Olympics. And, uh, but as well, you know, I remember Beijing, you know, my first, uh, uh, my first Olympic race back in 2008. And, and the first one is a special one for sure. 
as well as the last one in, in, in Brazil, in Rio, Rio de Janeiro. But I, I really like uh, Canada. Mount Saint Anne is uh, a race we do in, um, in Quebec, so east part of Canada, which is always a special one. It feels uh, like a, a very old race, uh, but with all the, the culture of mountain biking you know, involved. Uh, I see as well some Italian spots like Val di Sole or actually my area, which I really like. So I can't really pick one, but uh, I love a lot of spots to ride my bike as well as uh, Scotland too. So, you know, I have a good mix between uh, seaside, you know, some, some really nice ocean view, but uh, you know, the woods and some sort of kind of winter ride as well, I'm, I'm really in love with. I'm also planning some route with the Connect app uh, with my Xplova device because, you know, as I said, you get to travel a lot, you find yourself in a new place, you still have to, to train, you know, so it's not just like uh, traveling just for holidays, you know, maybe you have a race on Sunday, you're there since Monday and uh, you find yourself, I don't know, in uh, whatever place in South Africa, you don't know where to go. You just have a look at the map, you see on uh, other application maybe uh, a special route and then uh, you, you pick one that you like, you just create it with your device and, uh, and you follow the Explorer just to, just to try the route, you know, so you know uh, the distance, you know uh, how many climbs you're gonna have with, so a few things that really makes your training easier. Back in the days, I used to do many things, many sports. Um, so, you know, football, karate or whatever, you know. So, you know, I was just a kid playing around. And at some point, uh, my dad, my mom just, uh, you know, involved me in, in cycling. Uh, I had this bike, I wasn't racing, I was just riding my bike around this little house we had uh, in some lake north of Italy. So I liked it from, from beginning on because I was a big motor fan as well. I had a little motor when I was a kid. So I really loved to ride my bike. I wasn't that much involved in racing. Afterwards, you know, it came, uh, I came to the point where I wanted to compete as well. I started racing on the road and uh, all of a sudden I found myself like competition too. So, you know, step by step I came stronger, became stronger and stronger. Even though before the age 20 or 22, 23, I wasn't really sure that was my profession, you know. So I'm just like, okay took step, step by step and then all of a sudden I'm like okay now this is what I want to do this is my my goal in life you know being a pro rider and uh, and yeah I, I made it and I'm pretty stoked on what, what I'm doing at the moment you know a sport will never be a job a sport is a sport a sport has a meaning and uh, you always have to understand that meaning and, and be on that, on that side. Even though you have to give your best and you have to you know, try to beat, beat them all. But you know, hold on that meaning because it's the, uh, the crucial point of what, what we do. In the end, people remember way more the achievement you have, you know. It's uh, for sure the bad days, you know, come for each and every one of us. Even the, the best sportsmen in the world, they have bad days. And uh, I see these days as the one that you remember the most, you know. I mean, in terms of if you compare from fans or friends and yourself, you are the one that when you have a bad day, you know, it, it, it hits you a bit, for sure. But uh, for the people around you, uh, the good days are the one to remember and it's nice to, you know, see friends around and still, you know, being uh, stoked on what you've done maybe years ago, you know. Uh, maybe you have just won a race the, the, the day before, but they tell you, ah, oh, I remember that, that race, you know. So it's, uh, it's cool to see people stoked on what you've done in the past. Uh, from my point of view, I always look at the future and I always uh, 
see what I can achieve. So for sure, bad days uh, hits you a bit, but uh, you have to have good people around you. You have to have uh, the good mind mindset to, to hold on because if you know exactly what you're capable of, you know you can do it again.